on the blue line side of the field. They miss one of their trench towers. I don't think they're going to get another one scored. And as drivers take control. What's it happening? And as drivers take control of their robots here, going to be chance number four. Looks like we do not have a, any real time scoring, but our timer is working. A few quick shots by 118. Blue Robonauts on the Blue Alliance side of the field. It's now 38 to 27 in favor of the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, on the Red Alliance, the first air robotics come out from the back. The one going in toward the Red Alliance as Red trying to close the gap. They keep up with our very quick Blue Alliance machines. 33.55 on the Blue Alliance. That is Purple Vipers out of Arlington picking up the power cell, looking to soar up high for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, 118 zooming back through the trench for the Blue Alliance. They're lining up, taking a shot. Three more shots going up and in for the Blue Alliance as Blue now leads 54 to 33 with just over a minute left to play. Mercenary Robotics looking for some more power cells. Look like they are driving over some of them. 118, the Robonauts trying to steal some from the Red Alliance. Coming back over in through their trench. Lining back up, take a shot from the initiation line. All five going in, a couple going into the inner part for the Blue Alliance. And it's now a 62-33 lead for the Blue Alliance with 40 seconds left to go. Coming up on our end game portion of qualification match number four, we'll see if we have any robots climbing here. As we enter the final 30 seconds of qualification match number four, up goes the Robonauts trying to get hooked onto that Blue Alliance switch. Up they go. Looks like they may be balanced. See if they stay there until after the buzzer rings here on match number four. 64-35, Blue Alliance in the lead. That does not include any points from a 118. Meanwhile, Mercenary Robotics trying to get hooked on to the Red Alliance to switch. Almost there. All they got to do is pull up 